My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. As we know, if you live in Louisiana, you either likely live in or near some sort of swamp. Such habitat is great for water snakes, including banded water snakes and green water snakes. However, less muddy areas such as lakes, rivers, and creeks are home to other water snake species as well, such as this, the Midland water snake. Check this out. This is the Midland water snake. It's, it's a subspecies or a type of the common water snake. And ironically, the common water snake is the least common water snake here in Louisiana. It is an absolute beast of a Midland water snake. Super duper cool. So obviously they get the name water snake because they live most of their lives around the water. Um, what they go to eat, it lives in the water. These guys are piscivores, meaning they eat mostly fish. But they also love to go after amphibians such as frogs and toads. So these guys can easily be mistaken for the cottonmouth because of their pattern and their color. Um, but I promise this is a non-venomous snake. I mean, if you decide you want to catch one, just know you might get bit. I did definitely get bit by this guy, but don't worry, I am okay. But getting bit by these will indeed make you bleed because they have fairly big teeth. And they have those big teeth so that they can hold on to their prey. What these guys eat are typically very wiggly and slippery. And if you've ever tried to hold a frog or tried to hold a fish, you know, they can get out of your grip very easily. And that is why these guys need big grippy teeth so that they can hold on to their prey because these guys don't constrict their prey and suffocate them like a lot of other non-venomous snakes would. These guys kill by just brute force and start swallowing down their prey whole alive very very quickly before the prey gets even a chance to escape. One of the things I forgot to mention about this snake is the fact that they are viviparous, meaning that they actually give birth to live young, just like us humans, believe it or not. Does the Midland water snake make a good pet? The answer is absolutely not. This is a horrible pet snake because they live most of their lives in the water. Usually a watery enclosure is fairly difficult to maintain. They also don't eat your typical rodents that are easy to find in captivity either. You'd have to be supplying them with fish or frogs. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the Midland water snake. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. Peace out. Louisiana is home to more species of water snake than almost anywhere else in the world. And having the honor to check this one off the list was amazing because it was rather unlikely. So, are you tired of water snakes yet? Well, I hope not, because there's plenty more where that came from. So stay tuned for when I find some amazing water snakes in Season 3, Snakes of Florida. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe. Alright, take two. These guys eat. This is potentially the biggest water snake I've ever caught. Um, ooh, big eagle, or whatever that is. Wow, I cannot think, can I? He's actually hissing at me right now. Oh, are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? I'm sorry. I'm sorta sorry. No, I'm, I'm actually, I do feel bad.